Welcome back to the Dark Cosmic Universe. My name is Avian Savage. Welcoming back all my cosmic followers out there. Thank you guys so much for checking the channel out. If you are new to the channel, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Be part of the Dark Cosmic Universe. You're part of the Dark Cosmic family. You can be a cosmic cosmonaut, a cosmic comrade, an insane toy collector, as well as a dark cosmic Pokemon collector, or whatever you collect out there. So appreciate that. We are over a thousand, which is really cool. Thank you guys again for doing that. I so appreciate it. We reached an incredible milestone. Many more to come here on the YouTubeosphere, better known as YouTube. Yes, that's what I call the YouTube here, the YouTubeosphere. Why not? Because I'm the one who coined it. I'm the one who's going to say it. All right, let's get to what we've got here. Don't forget, check out the links in the description. I do have an eBay store where I sell vintage and retro t-shirts. And when I make a sale, I recycle that money, bring it back here to the Dark Cosmic Universe to find stuff like this. Just put an order out uh, the other day. I sold a couple shirts, which is pretty awesome. So that's exactly what I did. I do as I say, and there'll be more stuff to review on here because I want to compete with the big dogs out there. Not really, but I kind of like staying in the puppy yard here. But if the big dogs say, ooh, what's this guy doing for a video? I think I'll do the same. Who knows? They might be doing that. I don't care. I'm just having fun here. Hope you guys are having fun. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Again, check out the previous videos. I also have tons of video shorts here on YouTube where I wind up going who knows where. And when I find something really cool, something cosmically epic, I video record it and then I upload it when I have a chance, when I get to, uh, you know, a hot spot or something like that. Anyway, don't forget, this always helps the channel. Yes, it's the big thumb. That's right. I so appreciate you guys doing that. Leaving comments, sharing the videos, watching the videos, encouraging other people to check out the channel and, be and become part of the Dark Cosmic Universe because that's what we do here. All right, so we got a really cool, cosmically epic toy um, show here today or a reveal or a... What was I just calling it? I was calling it a review. We got Doctor Doom from the Kenner line. It's like Kenner. I remember Kenner Star Wars. Okay, makes sense. And then Luke Cage. Characters that I did not have in the four-inch scale mark. Uh, that's what most of these figures are in here. So it's like the 118th scale. I know someone's going, it's the 118th scale, Avian. I get it. All right, you got me on that one. All right, let's take a look at the card art here. Now, again, these are back in, I think it was like 2022. I might be wrong. Totally missed out on this. And I really wish I had, here, there's the Kenner logo. Again, that brings back some amazing nostalgic feelings back here. Again, it is a four plus. I am five going on six. So I should be able to have this toy in my collection. All right, let's take a look in the back of the card art. Again, this totally reminds me of the 80s comic books. That's when I love reading comic books. You go to a, um, a pharmacy or you go to uh, a newspaper stand and they had them there and they had this little spinny thing and you could take them out and go, oh, here's the latest and greatest. Let me read it. It was comic books that encouraged me to become an amazing reader. And here we go. Here is Dr. Doom. Here's a little bit about Dr. Doom. All right. Here is the UPC seal, which I keep saying, or the code, whatever it is. It's one or the other. Here's all the legals here for this particular card art. Looks really cool. Again, this is the Dr. Doom that I grew up on. I know that Robert Downey Jr. has been slated to play Dr. Doom or Victor Von Doom or a version of him. Don't know what it's going to happen or what it's going to be about, but that's okay. That's going to be kind of cool when it happens. And of course, it messes up my timeline here, talking about that 616 universe here. All right, the other figure we're going to be looking at, Luke Cage. Again, this card art, very reminiscent from this, probably from more like the 70s with uh, Luke Cage Power Man. Very cool Kenner logo. Again, the figure is just, or not the figure, but the artwork is just coming out and it's like checking and looking at you and then jumping out of a wall. Again, this is what comic books did. They gave you that kind of insight. Let's take a look at the back here. Now, of course, you probably remember Luke Cage um, from the Netflix series with Daredevil. Yep, it's Luke Cage. So here we go. A little bit about 
Um, here we go. Uh, the Power Man, Luke Cage himself. Pretty, pretty cool. And again, there's that barcode if you want to see if your store has this. Again, these came out, I think it was like 2022. Totally missed the bandwagon on this one. I remember them, you know, seeing them in the stores and kind of looked at it and I just wasn't in the Marvel-esque kind of mood at the moment. But now I am, so all right. Now, this particular uh, seller that I got um, the stuff from gave me two free little gifts, which we will open up. Uh, we'll do that after I open up the figure. All right, so I placed, here's Dr. Doom. Victor Von Doom. Is this Victor Von Doom? I'm hoping it is. Could it be a Doom bot? I don't know. It might be. You never know. Here he is in the plastic prison, as they say. Look at this plastic cape. Very cool. I know most people like the cloth capes. And I get it. I can see why. Uh, but again, when I wound up saying, I'm like, hey, I don't have a Doom figure. And of course, we wound up making a sale. And what did I do? I decided to recycle the money and put Victor Von Doom back into the uh, action figure line here. Now, it's so funny. I'm looking at this Victor Von Doom figure and all these figures here from Kenner. And I'm thinking, this thing screams Secret Wars. I don't know if you guys are thinking the same thing. But yeah. Now, mind you, Victor Von Doom did not look like this in the Secret War, Secret War form. But give him a secret shield with a lenticular, um, you know, insert. Um, the square, uh, I think it was like a silver one. Give him that big ray gun or that little mini ray gun. And it is Secret Wars, my friends. That's what I'm saying. We've got the flowing cape over here. Very, very cool. Again, five points of articulation, which yours truly loves to have. So the head moves. We've got some movement in... Actually, there's more because we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, the arms go up and down. And we also have some wrist um, articulation. I didn't think about the word here. But looks really cool. Again, he's got those heavy metal gauntlets on his hand or, you know, his armor. This is Victor Von Doom. This is, this is Doom. This is the Doom. Like, again, I remember, like, Saturday morning cartoons Doom. You know, him going against Spider-Man. And Spider-Man um, not even being close to being an, a, a, a great adversary to him. But I'm going to stick him right next to Reed Richards over here from the Fantastic Four. Mr. Fantastic. Now, he is a little bit taller than Reed Richards, as he should be, because he's in a suit of armor. But again, this thing seems this thing screams Secret Wars. That was a big '80s thing here from '80s for me. And uh, again, about four inches for this figure. So if you're looking for that 118 scale, these figures pretty much are in that 118 scale. Really, really cool. And then again, we'll do that for our buddy over here, Luke Cage. Let's take Luke Cage out. Very cool. I was like, I don't have a Luke Cage figure. And that's kind of what happened with this whole purchase here. I was like, I don't have, you know, a uh, Luke Cage figure because I have a Iron Fist figure. Not Power Fist, Iron Fist that I got from, I think it was from the um, animated uh, Spider-Man series, which that's another story in itself. And yeah, does this have, I thought maybe they have a little articulation here. But here we go. So here is Luke Cage. Again, this is his 60s slash 80s, uh, 60s, 70s look um, before he lost his uh, Wonder Woman tiara and they gave him the uh, the shaved head look and they gave him the goatee. But yeah, this is Luke Cage. Very, very cool. I'm pretty excited about this. I think this is like the second Luke Cage figure um, that I've gotten, but this is like in four inch uh, scale or sorry, 118 scale, which goes really well with the rest of the figures. Looks really cool, in my humble opinion. And again, he's got the five points of articulation. I think we have some articulation here in the wrists, maybe. Or is he not have any? I'm trying to gently be careful with this. No, he doesn't. Okay, so he's five points of articulation. Uh, whereas Doom is not of that caliber. All right, here is the character that actually inspired me to get this. So... Again, this is a Spider-Man figure that I probably got about, I'm trying to think when, maybe eight or nine years ago, thereabouts. And I was like, oh, this is so cool. Because, I mean, you know, it's the Iron Fist. You know, why not? And Heroes for Hire was always Luke Cage. And it was always, you know, it was always uh, the Iron Fist. Together, these guys, you know, look really cool. 
And uh, except for this, I, can, I can't stand this rubbery gimmick that they gave him. Um, I kept it like that. I could have, you know, just taken a scissors and go boop. But in order to keep the figure the way he is, he's holding some kind of, I don't know what the heck that thing is. Um, I don't know, like part of a, like a trumpet maybe? A slide whistle? I have no idea. Again, it was so gimmicky and I'm like, ugh. But, you know, putting Luke Cage, or put Luke Cage next to the Iron Fist. There they are. Heroes for hire. I'm like, very cool. And again, this line totally screams um, Secret Wars. You know, the more I get these figures here, the more I'm like going, yes, this is definitely Secret Wars worthy. Uh, again, if you are looking to find a not so expensive line to get into, uh, one that's, you know, pretty affordable, I would definitely say that this Kenner line is of that caliber, so to speak. And again, I have my go-to Wolverine figure. <laughs> I'm like, and uh, they did make some Wolverine figures with that. But again, you got Wolverine, who should be a little bit shorter, and he does scale a little bit shorter, which is pretty cool. And uh, that's just kind of how... Well, I think Wolverine should be just a little bit shorter, but that's okay. You know, like I said, now I got Doom, I've got Wolverine. But uh, yeah, this is really, really cool. All right, so I know you guys have been waiting. What was the secret gifts that I got? I have no idea. Again, to the seller, thank you very much. I reached out to them, and I said I would be doing a toy review. And I don't know what is in here. Something is popping out. This is interesting. I don't know what it is. So we're opening up at the same time and finding out what this is. It looks like it's going to be a baseball card. All right. That's kind of cool. Something just fell out. I don't know what that was. All right. What was that? Oh, wait a minute. It's a, huh, a key. A metal key. This is very interesting. So thank you very much. And this person said, I will send you some kind of like a free gift if you, you know, keep you know, purchasing from me. So let's find out what we got. And I do collect cards. Oh, there's a couple cards here. All right. So. Oh, Boston Red Sox. Tony Fossus. Okay. I don't have it. Do now. Oh, Celtics here. We got... Ed Pickney, is that, is that right? Is that the name? So, the representation of uh, the Boston's finest. Very cool. Upper Decks. Thank you so much. I don't have these. I do now. So, I'll put that. I've got a key, too. I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do with that key, but I'll figure something out to do with it. Maybe I'll find, like, a lock that will go to it. I don't know. Again, you know, like I said, you know, really cool eBay people are out there, and they kind of put some really interesting stuff as free gifts i'm trying to find the key but it fell here and i'm like ah, i don't know where it is now i'll find it seashell will find it all right let's find the second one out now the next one it does feel like uh more cards and that's cool and apparently they don't know i collect pokemon cards but we'll see what's in this one again this whole mystery unboxing or unbagging or unwrapping all right some more cards any keys in there? No keys. And then we got Jack Clark. Random card put in there. And from the bullets, we have Harvey Grant. All right, kind of cool. Thank you very much. So to that eBay seller for doing that, that was really awesome. Thank you so much. Anyway, guys, that's it. That's the end of the video. I have to find something that's going to go to this key. Now, again, it feels like it's like a rusted key. I hope they didn't, like, put their, like, you know, key that they had, like, a safe box to or something. Um, this feels like Final Fantasy. I should be able to put one of the characters in this. Uh, I don't know. I think I might have to uh, find a way to have this. I mean, this is a skeleton key. I don't know. Uh, actually, I do have a cabinet upstairs that this might actually go to. So we'll find out. Anyway... So that's what I got here in the Dark Cosmic Universe package. All right, guys. So that is it. That is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much. And again, here's some of my Marvelous collection here from uh, the 118 scale figures. Very cool. Again, I'm so happy. Again, we got Captain America. Uh, we've got Falcon over here from the movie Wolverine. We've got Electra. Speaking of Electra, making an appearance in the Deadpool and Wolverine. 
spoiler alert, sorry, <laughs> movie. Hulk, we've got Mockingbird over here, um, A-Bomb. Uh, we've got Toad from the X-Men. Over here, we've got the Scarlet Witch. There's Vision. Cyclops over here. We have the Iron Fist. Over here, we have Luke Cage, the Power Man. Doctor Doom. Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic. Hawkeye. And the Black Widow. Just some of the 1 to 18 scale figures that I have in my collection that I'm showing off here on the YouTubeosphere. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, the cool thing with 118 scale figures, they do go with 118 scale figures. Well, that's the theory. But again, I don't know about that. I've only heard that. And I've only read that on the internet. You know where I got that information? On the internet, of course. My name is Amin Savaz. This is the Dark Cosmic Universe. Again, thank you guys for watching the videos. Thank you guys for checking out all the shorts. So appreciate it. Thank you guys for getting us over on that free fall from 1,000 to, you know, 1,000K. So the sky's the limit at this point. And again, I still need to make some more purchases, which will happen uh, very, very soon. Again, yours truly is working like a madman, but that's okay, because that's a good thing. Again, my name is Amy Zavaz. This is the Dark Cosmic Universe to my Dark Cosmic family out there. If you are part of the channel here and you are subscribed and you've activated that bell icon so you get notified when I upload shorts or videos you are definitely part of the dark cosmic universe and my dark cosmic family are my cosmic cosmonauts my cosmic comrades my insane toy collectors and my dark cosmic pokemon collectors as well what do we say Say it loud and proud, not like that song, Scotty, but he's like, thanks, man. Thank you for the shout out. From one side of the galaxy to the other and somewhere in between, there is the dark cosmic universe here on the YouTubeosphere. Stay cosmically insane, my friends. Keep collecting those action figures. Keep collecting those Pokemon cards. Keep collecting all those collectibles. And we will see you back here on the YouTubeosphere very, very soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care and we'll see you then.